Welcome Susan to the show. Thank you. Thank you. How prophetic is this, Sylvia? Because, you know, Sylvia wrote this book about spirit of animals. And Susan, you wanted to ask her a question about what animal in particular? Shra, my horse. Her horse. Go ahead. Yeah. Just say it. Go ahead. What did you want to ask? I have a couple questions. Shara came into my life after a head injury. And when I purchased her, I was recovering. Right. And I've had horses in my life. I'm from Missouri. Yeah. And I've had horses in my life even when I was little. Yeah. And my family thinks... And they take to you. They take to me. And I'm curious about why, when I was in the city and my family thinks I'm an oddball, that I was so... Connected. There's a telepathy you have with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's certain animals that people have telepathy with, right. and it's with a horse. Well, Shira had uh, been really a, a grace to me, a saving grace for many things. And people don't think of animals as healers, but they, they are. are. Oh, they are. Yeah. They truly are. And one day, my daughter Christine and I were riding, and her love of her life died max big black gelding a year after shira and we were loping in a field they had told me to be careful you know it was an open head injury exactly, yeah. and that i shouldn't fall and we're loping through the field and shira stepped into a gopher hole oh, God. and i came with the momentum i came forward and out of the saddle and she threw her neck up which is not uh, to normal, protect you. Yeah, and she sat down in the middle of the fall to tuck her body behind, underneath. Yeah, her behind underneath. And she could have broken her leg. Thank goodness she didn't. But, but she did that to keep you from falling, from falling. this way. Right. <sighs> and I, Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. And she's done other things, too, yeah. even with... That's why I've always said, I swear to you, that animals are our guardian angels down here. My mother would tease me early on, even as a little girl, I'd talk about horses and going to heaven, and back then, you know, mm -hmm. that was just a cute little girl, something silly. And I don't think that's silly at all. I want to ride Pegasus, that winged horse. That's what I want. I, I, just since I came to the show, something else I found out is I had a conversation with my daughter just this morning. Mm -hmm. And she went into a deep depression when her horse, Max, who was oh, Shiraz's sure. companion, yeah, yeah. passed Died. away. And she dreamt that he was rearing and wanted to know if he was... I think she was so depressed she wanted to go to the other side, she said. Mm, yeah, I'm be with him. And when a horse rears, that's a defiance. Mm -hmm. and yeah, which she, means don't do don't it. Don't do it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, but he'll be waiting for her. That's a great thing. And news. that's what we wanted to know. Oh, well, yeah. Shara and Max. Absolutely. They wait there for you, and then you ride them when you get over there. And then very quickly, I know that, that I recently adopted a rescue horse from the Humane Society named Irie, and she's got beautiful blue eyes, and it was very unusual how I found her. Um, I was at work, very busy, didn't... Uh, the thought just came to me, I don't have time to explore the Internet, so I got on. And the horse looks so similar to Sherrod, it really shocked me. So did you adopt? Yeah, we did adopt her. Awesome. And I, I just kind of curious if Sherrod had guided me to oh, her. Oh, sure. Wanted you to. She's I got